Hi everyone, I'm Tammy. I just wanted to show you very quickly uh, how I'm applying my jams right now. It's a technique that I picked up from Angela Porter, who's one of our executive uh, Jamberry consultants. And let's just jump right into it. So I wanna show you, here's the sheet. It has 18 wraps. These larger ones are for pedicures. These smaller ones should fit um, your smaller fingers. And this is how you can get up to two manicures, two pedicures, and a combination of accent nails. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right now and cut these up because I like to do this very quickly. So stay tuned. Okay, so here I have cut the wrap, uh, one wrap in half. And these are going to be for my pinkies. I use the smallest five on a sheet for my hands. And we're just going to jump right in. So what I do is peel it off and I'm sticking it on my nail cold so I'm not heating it up first like the video I showed you last night but I'm going ahead and positioning it I want to make sure that it is centered and because I haven't heated it and it's not bonded to my nail bed I can kind of move it around and adjust it as needed I have my trusty Jamberry heater which is great because it's hands-free I don't have to fumble with the blow dryer although a blow dryer will work as well I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on get it a little warm so what we're doing is sticking it on cold, positioning it, and my nails, my fingers are a little, I don't know, crooked, I guess, I don't know. So I'm going ahead and just making sure it's on there straight. And now I'm gonna heat it up. So I'm holding it to the heater. I'm warming it until it's getting a little pliable, a few seconds, three to five seconds or so. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to stretch it over the tip, slightly. I'm pressing down the sides, up the middle, and smoothing it out so I don't have any bubbles or creases. And then this is going right over the edge, just like that. See that? Smallest nails in the world. This is how short nails can be and still be pretty. So I'm going ahead and heating it up again I'm just making it more pliable and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just pressing and pulling over the edge. I do this silly thing where I take my fingertip of my thumb and I kind of push it underneath the edge of the wrap at the tip and then I'm just going to let it cool off. Let me get these all on and then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so I want to show you one more thing. Um, I've applied all of these. I still have the excess and I'm waiting for them to cool down. But I want to show you what I do with my thumbs because as you know, most people on their nail beds are more square down here versus more round like uh, the wraps come. So I trim off just a sliver to make it fit better. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. I have my wrap I just peeled off and I don't want to touch any of the part that's going to go on my nail. But I'm going to take this and I'm just going to cut a little sliver off the end to make it a little more squared off. Not a whole lot. I'm talking just a little bit like that. I don't even know if this is focusing. I tipped over. Okay. Um, to make it slightly Okay, to make it slightly squared. Do you see that? And I'm going to put it on my nail. And I'll show you once I have it on and I've... Okay. And it is awesome. Completely squared off. Just a little tiny sliver. So I'm doing my thumbs. And then I'm going to show you the next step. Really quick, next one. I'm literally doing all of this to videotape it to show you guys. Oh, about 10 minutes before I need to leave the house. But that's how great these are, very quick. Once you get your technique down and you're able to line it all up, you know which wraps fit what nail, it goes very quickly. Okay, so this one
getting on and we're good and that's it okay so now turning off my heater I'm gonna go ahead and file because I have this excess that comes off very quickly if I just go into town on that and I'm just going to file straight down I sometimes go under the tips a little bit in the corners like this. You do not want to file back and forth, just like with your regular nail. Um, you are filing a little bit of your nail with this. And then the tip, the excess, just comes right off. Pop it off. And that's it. That one's done. So I'm going to do the rest, and then I'll show you the last thing I do. Okay, so I've filed off all the excess, and I've clipped the tips of my nails. So after I file, get all the rough edges off and get the extra tips that we folded over, um, the excess. I go in and I just, with a nail clipper, I trim the very tip, very, very small pieces. And that's it. I am done. I'm good to go. I'm out the door. 10 minutes or so, right? I'm done. So. Hope you guys are having a great day and stick with us so that you can learn more about Jamboree.